Hey guys, I have here today the 2015 BMW X1 S Drive 28i. The X1 is BMW's smallest SUV offering in the United States. The X1 comes in two different configurations S Drive, which is the rear wheel drive version, and X Drive, which stands for all wheel drive. The rear wheel drive feature in the X1 provides a pleasurable driving experience with precise handling as well as flawless cornering ability and incomparable dynamics. The optional 8-speed automatic transmission in the X1 provides extremely fast synchronized shifting by increasing the number of gears to 8. The transmission provides a more efficient shifting sequence and improved fuel economy. It includes adaptive transmission control with sport and manual shift modes and steering wheel mounted paddle shifter. When in sport mode, shift can be generated via the console mounted shift lever or the paddle shifter. The close spacing of gear ratio is the optional 8 speed sport automatic transmission enables maximum use of the optimum rev range, significantly lowering fuel consumption and enhancing shift comfort. Up front, you see the standard headlamp with integrated turn signal lamps. Want better lightning? You can always upgrade by adding the lightning package which will feature adaptive xenon headlights with adaptive light controlled and LED corona headlight rings. At the bottom is the halogen freeform fog light and the aerodynamic silver air dams that makes the front look very aggressive. The iconic BMW double kidney grill outlined by chrome accenting trims intermittent windshield wipers with adjustable speed. This particular model comes with the upgraded 18-inch multi-spoke alloy wheels with Pirelli 225-45 all-season tires. Behind the wheel is the set of four-wheel internally ventilated brake discs and four-piston brake caliber painted in silver for faster stopping. S-Drive 28i badge on the door. Side view mirror with integrated LED turn signal light. On top you see the double black roof rails as well as the large panoramic sunroof that consists of two glass panels which can be tilted up for ventilation or slide out for an open air feeling. The BMW X1 also features anti-lock braking system, dynamic brake and stability control, brake standby, start-off assistant, as well as brake fade compensation. To the back, you see the stylish and purposeful tail lamp. Integrated into the tail lamp is the turn signal lamp, as well as the brake lamp. At the bottom is the rear diffuser, painted in silver to match with the front air dam, and the dual round chrome tip exhaust. Rear deflectors are also built into the rear bumper. And white LED lights for the license plate. On top is the roof spoiler with integrated third LED brake light. Okay, on the remote I have the lock, unlock as well as the trunk release button. The car does come equipped with smart access key system. With the key in your pocket, press the button on the door handle once to lock. After a few seconds, put your hand behind the door handle to unlock. The exterior color is known as Alpine White, featuring sand beige in the leather leather seats, beige on the door panel with black sections on top, black on the dash, as well as light fine line wood trims and aluminum trims throughout the car. To start up the vehicle, just put your foot on the brake, push the start button to start. Now let's pop the hood and see what the BMW X1 S Drive 28i have to offer. Uh. 
Under the hood is a 2.0-liter BMW twin power turbo inline 4-cylinder, 16-valve, combines a twin-scroll turbocharger with variable valve control, double vanos and valvetronic, and high-precision direct injections, auto-start and stop functions, driving dynamic control with Eco Pro comfort and sport settings, 8-speed Steptronic automatic transmission with sport and manual shift modes, and adaptive transmission control, pushing out 240 horsepower and 260 pound-feet of torque, can hit from 0 to 60 in 6.2 seconds, top speed is electronically limited at 127 miles per hour, EPA estimated fuel economy is 23 CD, 34 highway, and 27 combined. Very impressive. Here is a look at the driver side door panel with beautiful fine line wood trims. Both front windows are fully automatic and two rear windows are one touch down and you have to hold it to bring it back up. Side view mirror does offer folded options. And down here you have the storage compartment. BMW door seal and there's the pedals here's a closer look at the seat both front seats feature 14-way power adjustable front seat including two-way manual headrest and four-way power lumbar support and two preset memory for driver seat as well as outside mirrors both front seats does offer heated options The three-spoke design steering wheel is fully wrapped in black leather with aluminum accenting trims in the metal. Really nice touch, featuring multi-function control side-by-side -side for your convenience with control for audio system, cruise control, and Bluetooth wireless communication for hand-free mobile phones. Behind the wheel on the right you have the windshield wiper control, and here you have the turn signal light control. Here is a look at the gauge, driver side air vent, light control as well as rear fog light. Down there you have the trunk release button. And a closer look at the dash. A closer look at the fine line wood trims. The standard audio system in this vehicle feature anti-theft, AM FM stereo, CD MP3 audio system with 8 speakers, 180 watts digital amplifier, radio data system, auto store, 3 channel FM diversity antenna system, and auxiliary audio input adapter compatible with portable music player. A USB audio connections and hand-free Bluetooth including audio streaming as well as onboard computer with 6 programmable memory buttons, 80GB hard drive with 12GB storage for media files. And if that is not enough, you can always upgrade it to the Harman Kardon system. And here is the look at the gearbox lever. Press unlock and push up for reversed. Unlock again and pull down for drive. Slightly up for neutral and just pull over to the left to get into manual mode and that's when you can manually select different gears. Very easy to use. Here you have the iDrive unit controller. You can turn the knob around to move around screens. Or you can uh, also move it up, down, right or left. And press down to select. And you have all your different menus buttons right there. There's your Eco Pro, different driving mode, traction off. And USB and auxiliary input storage compartment here's the hand parking brake 
a cup holder, center starch compartment with another cup holder. Now this model also comes with the technology package which include the iDrive system with an 8.8 .8 inch display, a navigation system, voice command, BMW online and BMW apps with iPhone app integrations including Pandora and Stitcher internet radio, and BMW remote services which allow both Apple and Android users to lock the car remotely and turn on the climate control among various other tasks, enhance Bluetooth and wireless Bluetooth audio from your personal phone device, and last but not least, real-time traffic information. And there you have the uh, control for your panoramic sunroof. The power panoramic sunroof consists of two glass panels and can be tilted up for ventilation or slide out for an open air feeling. The integrated automatically deploy wind deflector minimizes noise for optimum comfort. There you have the light control. And here you have the three buttons universal garage door opener, sun visor mirror with a card holder. Now let's check out the rear seat. Rear seats offer seating for three and it does offer folded options just in case you need to fold it down to get additional cargo space. Rear driver side door panel. Rear windows are one touch down and you have to hold it to uh, bring it back up. Okay now let's jump into the rear seat and see how it feels in the back. But first let me show you the front uh, cabins. And here's the look to the top. Very nice view with the panoramic sunroof open. Down here you have the 12 volt power outlet. Okay, rear seats does feel quite comfortable and still have a little leg rooms left. Here's a look at the rear seat. They could have added a little padded to the seats to make it more comfortable. Rear armrest with two cup holder for the rear passenger. Rear seat pocket. On top of your head you have the light control. One on each side. All right, now let's pop up the trunk and see how much cargo space the trunk offer. The trunk offer 14.8 cubic feet of cargo space, and you can always fold down the rear seats to get additional cargo space. With both rear seats fold down, you get a maximum amount of 47.7 cubic feet of cargo space. And there you have the privacy protector to cover some of your personal items. And you can hook the string into the power lift gate so it'll go up and down with the lift gate. Down here you have more storage compartment and with the organizer as well. Gas cap is located on the passenger side and it does require premium unleaded fuel only and it holds approximately 16.6 .6 gallons of fuel overall the BMW X1 is BMW's smallest crossover SUV with seating for 5 passengers. Rear seats are good for average size adults, but for taller individuals, leg room and headrooms could be a little tight. The front cabin though offer quality material 
with fine line wood trims and great upholstery material. All right, now let's jump into the passenger seat and see how it feels. Feels really nice in the front seat. All right, guys, that is it for today's review. I hope you guys enjoyed the 2015 BMW X1 S Drive 28i. Go ahead and leave me a comment below, letting me know how you guys like it. Don't forget to give me a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel if you haven't done so. For more future video reviews, I'll see you guys next time.